college football, college football, is football, college football, college football because, football, because of big and small rivalries. And because pigs can fly. Just ask Floyd of Rosedale, who wings his way to Iowa City or Minneapolis every year. And there they go, running for Floyd. College football is college football because we love feet. RPI and Union go head over cleats about a pair of red clogs called the Dutchman shoes. LSU and Arkansas go hog wild over the golden boot. College football is college football because we know the value of a dollar. Or in the case of the Cortland Ithaca rivalry, $2. That's what the Cortica jug cost at a 1959 yard sale. Only in college football does a carved wooden turtle end up at Ohio State or Illinois, which beats the live turtle they used to give the winner. And only in college football can we have the longtime battle of the small school hyphens, Hampton Sydney versus Randolph Macon. Or how about the longest rivalry in D3, Amherst versus Williams, known as the biggest little game in America. And if that doesn't ring a bell, then try the 122nd meeting of Wabash versus DePaul. Winner gets the Monon Bell, all 300 pounds of it. An Amherst-Williams game. Amherst has won 18 straight. Eves and the Lord Jeffs, great nicknames there. Wabash has dominated against DePaul. And the Academic Bowl, Case Western Reserve against Carnegie Mellon, among the notable rivalry games today, of course. The Big Ten is the king of trophy games. Floyd of Rosedale at stake in last season. Minnesota housed Iowa 51-14 to take home Floyd 80 years ago. The first time that Minnesota and Iowa played for that bronze pig. Of course, back then it wasn't bronze. It was real live bacon. They had the live pig there. But before they go at it over Floyd, there is an undercard at Kinnick Stadium. They're putting the wrestling mat out. Iowa and Oklahoma State, two of the most storied programs in all of college wrestling, 57 national championships between them, and they're going to set an attendance record. They've already sold more than 35,000 tickets for these two high-powered college wrestling teams. You know, last week you probably saw the Bear answering hometowns of wrestlers. What about Iowa All-American Thomas Gilman Bear? Any idea there? Pass. Hell, I need a landline. Oh. That's the first time yeah, out there. Exactly. Yeah, you can't get back on wasting time. Council, Council Bluffs. Wow. Oh. Council Bluffs, oh. Iowa. That's going to be a great event.